Coil overs are fucked, they need changing, but it still weirdly drives well. You know, it's comfy right now, it's not banging or crashing. The banging you hear is some shit rolling around in the glove box. But I actually bought this car a while ago now. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I bought it about November-ish time. We're in March now. Over winter, I didn't want, didn't want to get it near salt, to be honest. Um, and so, it's now time to get it out and start, start enjoying it. Start making some videos on it. And hopefully you enjoy it too. This is not going to be a YouTube channel where I'm trying to beg you for, for subscribers and likes. To be honest, I don't really care what happens. It's a bit of fun. Um, but still got the M2 and I'll, I'll do some videos on that as well. You know, of course, I'm always hit up for hearing what you guys want to see. But I thought, let's take you out on a drive in this. Show you how much fun I think it is. Got the roof open. It's a sunny March day. I can smell that decal. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. This is what life's all about. Just enjoying your toys. This is what we work hard for, isn't it? Being able to buy and upgrade your toys and have a bit of fun. This is why we work stupid hours and why we, you know, do everything we can to earn money to, well, buy cars, really, let's be honest. The, when I was thinking of a project car, I was thinking, well, what else, what, what could I get that isn't mad money? And I was looking at EP3 Civic Type R's, brilliant option for track, clear 197s, used to have one, loved it. You got, when you, but then I'm thinking, well, I really, really want rear-wheel drive. If you want rear-wheel drive, what can you really get in the sort of seven-ish and below <coughs> bracket? Well, not really much. You can get some MX-5s, you can get some E46s, you can get some uh, GT86s. But I wanted something with some character. I wanted something that was going to put a smile on my face. To be honest, I want six cylinders. It must be manual. And this for me is the perfect car in terms of it's an E36, it's the right size and shape, all that stuff, in the right colour and spec. With everything I already want. I'm comfy, the car is riding quite nicely, and it's surprising how grippy and fun and nippy it is.
keeps going, keeps going. Seven and a half, thousand RPM. That's what this is about. Brilliant. I love NA engines. Apparently it's a very reliable engine, the 328i. I hope so, we'll see. We all, we've all seen the 36 memes of how unreliable, oh, cute dogs, of how unreliable these cars are. It's already had a load of cooling system fixes. It's already had the Vanos. I'm hoping it's okay. I think it just needs a few leaks fixing, a bit of rust doing, new coilovers, and we'll see how we get on. But I'm just hoping that uh, you like this car as much as I do. Actually, I don't care if you like it as much as I do, because I'm a smart car. But I hope you're looking forward to the journey that we're going to go on with this. It's fucking sunny. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a full headliner here. I've got over in the corner here, I've got loads of parts. So, here you go, look. So, we've got an actual gear knob, cheap eBay short shifter, it's metal. I mean, it should be fine. Hope for the best. Uh, all of the all of window sills. All the windows, front door seals, boot seal, all that sort of shit. And then down here, I've got all of the parts for the headliner look. Um, I've taken some bits out, like some of the trims out the boot and the spare wheel, because I don't think we need those. Um, so, looking forward to going on this journey. I've even got a front bonnet badge, just because I'm on there, it's fucked. But I think the reality is it's going to need a new bonnet, a new bumper and a respray. But I think I'll do that after taking that on track a bit, just so I can enjoy it a little bit more carefree. I've uh, got things like door door trim clips, um, door card clips, just just when things come up, we can just sort it out and uh, doing it all on a budget. All this stuff was off eBay. All of it was as cheap as I could find it. We've got black fabric paint. We've got rust converter for when we take the seals off. We're gonna We're gonna probably wanna Make sure that if there's rust, well, when we find rust there, we can convert it. Um, we can then put some Boston Green paint on it. I've got lacquer, I've got filling primer, uh, all of that sort of stuff here. And some decent um, sort of tape as well. So really looking forward to getting onto this with, with everyone on board on the channel. And hopefully you enjoy it. So thanks for joining me for a bit of a return video, show you the car. And uh, thanks for watching, catch you on the next video.